So there's another sign for um, acute appendicitis. All right, uh, this is like a sign that can be used to diagnose acute appendicitis. All right. So we've seen that there's quite a lot of other signs like the roasting signs and all the stuff. All right. So we have one which is known as the obturator sign. Okay. And the obturator sign is used in diagnosing acute appendicitis. All right. So obturator sign in acute appendicitis. You see different types of sign, all right? One of these could be rebound tenderness sign, which when you're pressing the patient, they won't feel pain. But when you're trying to remove your hand, that's when they feel pain, all right? It could be roasting sign, all right? Then you have the psoas sign, which the patient is lying laterally and you're trying to draw the leg back. If they feel pain, that's a psoas sign. Then also, you see the obturator sign is like this. The light facing up, they raise their hand, okay, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, okay, and they move it back front. They also twist it around, okay. So if there's pain, that's what we call the obturator sign in acute appendicitis. So let's look at it. These are the obturator sign, or also known as a Coop's sign. It's a clinical sign that may be present in acute appendicitis, okay. So it is defined as a pain in the la in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. Okay, that's right iliac fossa. All right, and this is usually where the appendix is located. All right, so it is exacerbated by what internal rotation of the hip. So when this person actually raise, okay, raise their leg like this, ask them to what rotate internally. All right. You can also ask them to shift back and forth, shift back and forth. But the most important one is what? Rotating internally, all right? And if there's acute appendicitis there, there'll be so much pain. So, to elicit this sign, the healthcare provider will typically ask the patient to lie on their back after they explain everything. Flex the patient's right hip to about 90 degrees, all right? So, note that it is the right hip, not the left hip. The appendix is not on the left side, the appendix is on the right side. So now, you will internally what, rotate the hip. If the patient cannot do it by themselves, you help them. Rotate internally, internally, all right? So now, when you are doing it, you don't just look at it without looking at the patient. You look at the patient. Because some patients, they have a high threshold of what? Resisting pain, okay? so. You also look at their facial expression to see if there's any funny facial expressions and all the stuff, okay? So observe the patient's facial expression and ask if they feel pain in the right lower quadrant. Just so rotating, you are looking at their face. I have some funny expressions. You know that what? It's actually positive. So if it is positive, what does it mean? Okay? So if the obturator sign or the coops sign is positive, all right? It is indicated by what increased pain in the right lower quadrant with internal rotation of the hip okay also there could be guarding that's muscle tension or rebound tenderness which will be found in the lower quadrant okay so it is associated to what appendicitis if it is positive appendicitis is there if you're not sure you can still do other things to confirm all right so the obturator sign is thought to be due to anatomical relationship between the appendix and the obturator internus muscle. Now, when the appendix is inflamed, it irritates the obturator internus muscle. And this will lead to pain with internal rotation of the hip. Okay? So now, just like Rosen sign, the obturator sign is not always present in acute appendicitis. Its absence does not rule out the diagnosis, okay? So even if you do the obturator sign and you don't find it, which is less likely, you still go on with your other diagnosis, all right? So that's the obturator sign or the Coop's sign in acute appendicitis, all right?